thanks for joining me. I'm so glad that you guys are here. And I've had a pretty crazy weekend. So I will let you know what I'm doing straight off the bat. It's a super, super simple page. And I absolutely love this new collection that I just purchased. It's from um, Paper Rose Studios and it's called Happy Stitches. Um, the Happy Stitch Collection and I'm using F and A sheets on this layout and a little bit of mixed media. It's I'm using my Distress Oxides, I'm using Picked Raspberry and Carved Pumpkin. All the details will be below so if you want anything I will add a link for Paper Rose Studios for the papers that I've used as well. I cannot promote this company more if I tried. If you have never tried Paper Rose Studio collection of any description, I urge you to do it. I do not get a kickback from it. I don't. There's no magic number that goes into my bank account. <laughs> oh, how I wish. But it is, it's an Australian made company and it's made here and it is absolutely, the quality is off the charts. It is just the best quality. And to fussy cut, you end up with the world's, like it's just, I can't even put it into words how good the quality is. It, it's just amazing. Anyway, I bought three new packs, three new collections. And over the weekend while I was, passenger and my husband was driving and we were doing the gymnastics mum thing hashtag tell me you're a gymnastics mum as I'm driving down the highway and I'm fussy cutting <laughs> because I knew that I would be <laughs> I knew you can I, I hear you guys laughing honestly I, I really do because now I think about it that was crazy but it was the best use of use of my time because we were basically, oh, the photos I'm scrapping are of my two youngest children quite some time ago. And we went to Costco and we were new to the whole Costco thing at that point. And we'd only just, my American viewers and so forth, you, you'll laugh at this. Because in Australia, I'll be honest with you guys, okay. So for everyone overseas, especially in the US, you guys have large on an epic scale like it just blows my mind every time I go to Costco and everything's in a giant quantity and this particular day we had gone down there because I've got a family of five okay so I've got three daughters and my husband now for us to buy in massive scale is uh, there's things that you would buy in a large scale and then there's things that you just wouldn't bother with. Now, Costco's awesome. We get our fuel from Costco because we get it cheaper and for the membership price is totally worth it. However, this particular day, this was, we went in there and we thought to ourselves, you know what? We're going to buy some ice creams. It was a hot day. It was summer. It was... You know, all that sort of jazz. And <laughs> our two youngest wanted ice creams. So we thought, you know what? It's like a buck fifty for an ice cream. We'll just get them an ice cream. You can tell by the photos. If you've never been to Costco or you don't un understand what I'm talking about, these ice creams, this was a standard ice cream. Just a normal walk up. Can I have an ice cream cone, please? That, that, <laughs> These things are enormous and because my two were so young and I've ordered them an ice cream each, couldn't quite work out why the lady on the other side of the counter was looking at me a little odd and then I figured it out pretty quick because I had bought the biggest ice cream cones for the smallest children each. Like it was just insane but it's okay, it's all good. It was huge. So... That's what I'm scrapbooking about and I'm doing a power scrap because 
this particular I wanted to do a little bit of everything this morning because I haven't been in the craft room Friday Saturday or Sunday so I have to say I had an itch to just smash out a page so this is a power scrap and as you can see it's super super simple and because it's not really I mean it's a trip to Costco it's not anything other than the fact that these ice cream cones were gigantic so I've called it ice cream you scream we all scream for ice cream because everybody knows that title and I wanted to add a large title running down the side because the stitching in the papers it's bold it's bright it's in your face so I wanted a big bold title to go with it where I, I couldn't now you're probably wondering why I just put the two strips down the edge and then I did the inking in the middle because I wanted the background to match the the writing which I do this quite often and this is something that anyone can do you don't need to have a Cricut to do this you could do this with um, dies doing the offset is a little bit harder but this particular font that I used if you do have a Cricut or you use Cricut Design Space it's actually called BFC Wild Thing font that's the font that I'm using so um, I will put that down below as well but I just went through and I just put my Distress Oxides, I used Carved Pumpkin and Picked Raspberry because I love orange, but I don't often have photos that go with orange. So I took the opportunity here because everything in the photos, which was a pure fluke, the girls are wearing pink and they've got brown and white ice cream. And I thought, you know what? I could squeeze some orange on here. And because the papers that I was using, the F paper, which is the Happy Stitches F paper, they, um, it had orange stitching going across it. So it's just all different stitches all the way down. And it looked really good. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get me some carved pumpkin. And my ink pad was so juicy. It was crazy juicy. So compared to my picked raspberry that I go to quite often. But I just love the blobby look. And then now I've just got to get the glue off my hand. It's not as cold today here in Queensland. So I was able to do the, the glue on the back of my hand trick to get my letters on there quicker, which worked really well. So see how the orange works because they're wearing pink it just totally goes together if you have a look at the stitches they're all different colors and yeah i love them i had to get this collection because it just it's different it's something completely different it's not patches it's not tickets it's not words it's it's different it's stitches without using my sewing machine so it has allowed me to get a really i did wrap up the edges so i did go through with my edge distressor i've just got one i think it was from making memories um edge distressor i bought that one particularly because my hands hurt quite often it's actually quite large so it doesn't put as much pressure on my joints and, um, and I've been having lots of trouble with that lately. So isn't that fun? Now I'm just going through. I fussy cut. I actually sat in the lounge last night watching The Masked Singer. And I'm shocked. I thought one of them. I was sure Snapdragon. If you watch it, I was positive Snapdragon was Guy Sebastian. I really was. But man, that guy can sing. Just saying. Just saying, just my opinion. I did guess Shannon Knoll. I guessed that one and I guessed another one. Whoever it was. I can't remember who it was. Did not guess Tori Spelling though. That was a shock. I couldn't believe she could sing that well. Like, I mean, I know her, her life's very different now. But yeah, it was pretty cool. 
Sorry, I needed a drink. I've woken up this morning and yesterday I was out in the garden and my neighbours and, and myself, like, we're on a corner block. So I've got sort of two neighbours fences joining and um, we've got this damn weed. Oh, it's, re it's so annoying. It's a vine and we have been trying to kill this thing off. For so long and we're winning the war no we yeah well we won the battle initially because we've it's half died we've got in there on the weekend and we've hacked the hell out of it and we've sprayed it again so hopefully hopefully this time it dies but we will probably have to continue spraying it but as a result i have hay fever and sinus issues this morning it's so annoying it was like this yesterday and it's because of all the dead leaves in this yeah but that's okay getting over that i'm in the craft room i'm scrapping so it's fantastic it's gonna be a good week it's gonna be a great week i have lots of ideas if you're new to my channel this is a power scrap this is where i just make decisions quickly and i scrap quickly so um, I do also do longer pages. I will have a double page spread later this week for you guys. And hopefully, hopefully crossing fingers, my Epson photo paper arrives. I've run out. I can't believe I ran out. I never run out of anything. I always have two of everything. I know it's a weird quirk, right? So here's the close-ups for you guys. I will have photo close-ups on my Facebook page within the next few hours and if you have not subscribed to my channel it is free and it helps my channel get noticed by other people I'm here to give you ideas and help you create amazing pages so like and subscribe and I'll chat to you soon thanks guys bye